Uh, so our friend Brian is asking, hey, Brian, uh, Darius and Bob, for the life of me, I don't understand tips. Uh, will you please provide some guidance into what actually drives these investments and what may make them appropriate now? Ah, uh, tips. I, you know, uh, I, I love tips. Um, talking about tips, you know, no, they, they've been they've been like the uncool asset class for like 25 years. So uh, I, I love the fact that people are coming back to them. So tips, if you think about them, um, what are they? Uh, a tip is treasury inflation protected security. Um, what that means is that the way that they work is that they offer a real interest rate. They pay a coupon just like a normal treasury bond does. But the way that coupon and the ultimate principle is calculated is that you get a real coupon, a real uh, return or interest rate, and then you get inflation as it actually occurs, uh, as it actually accumulates over time. And so, uh, you know, if you buy a 10-year tip and you have a, you know, a 1% real yield on it, you'll get 1% each, you know, every six months, you'll get a 1% coupon plus whatever the accumulated inflation is from the time that you bought it to the time that the coupon was issued. And then of course, at the end, you'll get your principal back the hundred dollars face value of the principal plus whatever the uh, accumulated inflation is. And so I think that's important because what, what tips really are, are two things. One, it's a long, it's a long-term instrument that uh, provides the return of actual realized inflation, very important. So it is a inflation protection hedge. But number two is the price of tips just in the same way. Um, I'm sure your, your viewers understand that, you know, bond yields, if yields go up, bond prices go down and the returns are negative and vice versa. The way you think about tips is the same thing, except instead of thinking about um, instead of thinking about the overall bond yield, which includes the real interest rate and the break-even inflation expectations of inflation and the real interest rate, tips prices are only affected by the real interest rate moves. And so I think one of the things that's challenging with them is what you see is in times when inflation is elevated, typically what happens is the central bank responds with elevated real interest rates to slow the economy. That's actually bad for tips prices, right? Because real interest rates go up, which means the prices of those bonds go down, right? Just at the time when inflation is going up, right? So it's very confusing assets. Like you're protect, you, you claim this is inflation protection, but it's going down while inflation is happening. And that's because they are a real interest rate bond plus accrued inflation. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that I think is really interesting in that market is if you think about how, how it's going right now, like most of the tightening has been through the real interest rate. When we started uh, the cycle whenever, uh, uh, back in January 2022 to today, we've had almost 300 basis points of real interest rate, 300 basis points or more of real interest rate tightening, right? That's a huge change in terms of the expected future yield on those, on those bonds. Mm -hmm. And so what that now means is, you know, we're getting mid 2% type real return which if you look back through time um, on those bonds, it's like about as good as it gets. Yeah. Um, in, in the middle of the financial crisis, there was like liquidity issues and they traded into the threes. But I mean, that's what we're, but like, you know, the difference between two and a half and three is like, let's not get greedy here. Like three is basically about as good as it would ever come. And I think those instruments on a forward looking basis, because the real yield is so, so high, so elevated at a time when, Inflation has uh, hasn't been beat, but inflation has come down meaningfully. The tightening cycle is largely over, and the Fed might need to ease real interest rates mo much more than people expect in order to reaccelerate the economy in a downside in a downturn. Like those instruments are actually pretty attractive on a forward-looking basis, and so absolutely, it gives you a sense uh, uh, for tips as a as an asset class. Definitely something to to check out and, and think about today. 100%. I have nothing to add. That was fantastic, my friend.